Well, I am in uh, I'm in England touring with Marco Mendoza, and uh, we're playing uh, some of Marco's solo shows. The thing is that Marco Marco worked with Thin Lizzy, White Snake, Ted Nugent, Neil Sean. I need to cover a lot of guitar tones. I've been working with Yamaha for a couple of years now, and when they came out with the Pacifica, we had a talk about let me spec just a standard Pacifica but with my specs and we came up with this. It's a, totally just a standard Pacifica out of the box. It's just exactly the same guitar as you pick in a store. I got the, the fret changed to jumbos which makes a big difference for me because I grew up with that you know jumbo fretted guitars like Ibanez and you know Chavel, Kramer, that was all jumboed uh, so that works for me and then I think I found my all-time favorite pickup um, uh, last year I started to play on P90s, but I was like, I like, the, I like the, the touch and the power in a P90, but they were so noisy. So these guys are Seema Duncan stacked P90s. One for bridge and one for neck. And they sound incredible. It's, it, it's definitely my new favorite pickup from, from Seema Duncan. Hello, this is Seymour Duncan here uh, in Santa Barbara, California. And uh, I'm going to talk about the stack a little bit. Uh, I first came up with the stack idea back in the 80s, and I actually received a patent for it. And um, I started doing it uh, for a guy named Michael Sembello. He had a record called Maniac. And I actually did it with strats. And I had a coil uh, on top of another. Uh, the way we had it wired up, the winding and the hookup made it a very quiet single coil style pickup. Uh, over the years we've we've developed other model pickups, Telecasters and then now you know we've been doing the P90 stack for a long time too and uh, we're doing them now for Green Day which I'm very excited about. When you open up the box there's a little uh, schematic and uh, it says that you can wire them in parallel and you can wire them in serial. It will sound single coilish or humbucker-ish but noise cancelling. That's cool. Basically, you have a coil on top, your traditional coil, and underneath you have the same one, but it's like flipped over, like a mirror image of it in the winding direction. So in the middle, you have uh, your pole pieces, and then you have your uh, actual blades on each side of it. And uh, the neat thing about it, it's quiet, and it's, it's really unique. The pickup itself is, uh, uh, needs a little modification because the height of it is a little bit higher than your traditional uh, P90 that you would normally get but it keeps the quiet and noise down and it's very quiet when you need it. Yeah, you can, you can wire, wire the whole circuit with uh, push-pull pots and I have that coil tap function so you can actually go from serial to parallel wiring. You go from parallel to serious just like that and still noise cancelling, it's amazing. And even here, classic humbugger. Single coil. I mean, if I go here, in that position, like that, it's that classic kind of Les Pauly mid position. If you do that, if you go here, it's more like a, like a telly. If you do this, it's a nice, thick, clean. Now you have the mid-range from that one and the very clear high stuff from here. Or this, even another. You know, it's all tools you need as a guitar player. And um, it's really cool. So you just you can hear the humbucker, how it works with more yeah. distortion in the amp. Yeah. 
in the humbucker position, it really acts and sounds like a proper humbucker. So now it's more like, you know, Richard Blackmore, uh, Ingby Malmsteen. That Single coil. So it's really, I mean, it's a lot of nice tones, lots of good sound. Now check this out. This is incredible. I mean, I have pretty much, it's pretty high gain at the moment. Check it out. After um, Yamaha made me this guitar, I, um, I realized how important and how much it affects my way of playing depends on what guitar I'm actually playing because I'm, I'm so used to the SG2000s now, it's kind of my guitar um, and it's, I had it very low and I have it like, you know, it's, it's a really rocker, it's a vintage southern rock, badass, dirty guitar, but sometimes, I mean, sometimes you are in a, in a you have a gig or you do at this mo very moment, I'm touring with Marco, and some of Marco's music is a little bit West Coast, a little bit of Lukather, like that, and and it, I cannot I cannot play that kind of guitar on my SG. So when I got this with these pickups and with the trem, I start to play in another way and kind of get inspired by the guitar. Actually, um, I mean stuff like this, you know, when I do. Um You know, that kind of look at their kind of thing. I cannot do that on my SG. So it's really like a new tool for me. And um, also that very shiny, clean tone. <laughs> this guitar uh, took me into a project I had in my system for years because I grew up in, you know, the 80s, and I was so into Steve Vai, Satriani was my hero, Gilbert changed my world, Nuno Bettencourt was my hero, Michael Lee Furkins, that guy, Greg Howe, all that music was just, it was all over my, you know, my, my mind. So when I got this guitar, I realized, whoa, wait a minute, we are a little bit back in that area. And then again, not at all, because it's P90s, it's vintage looking. So I was just like, Fuck it! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna record and produce my solo instrumental album. I'm gonna do it. So I'm actually at the moment recording an, an instrumental guitar album on this guitar, ten songs instrumental. First time I heard the, um, first time I heard this. many years but first time I heard that I was just like dad what is that that's Gary Moore wow so I bought all his records I'm a massive fan of Gary Moore that slow kind of you know melodic instrumental music and it's totally out of fashion I know it's just but I, I mean I do it because I can yeah. and I, everything is recorded on this guitar string wise I play the Dario as you can see and um, I'm quite uh, picky about that so standard tuning I'm playing tens on the SG, I'm playing 11s. This one is in E flat, 11s. If I take the SG to E flat, it's 12s. 
Uh, my low string on this will be 1149. Oh. Otherwise, I can, you know, find myself overbending because of because it feels weird. But uh, this works perfectly for me. Everything I do, like touring and you know news and stuff, will be on www.sorenanderson.net. Uh, .com is not available. Damn. But everything is on Anderson.net.